bounds. So could Sarah put aside her feelings about this? Does, does she have any remorse whatsoever? Because she says she doesn't still believe that molestation is going on. You, you don't believe no, this? I said I was concerned that it may be happening. Well, we'll talk about that investigation when we come back. And how does this all end? We'll find out when we come back. In the back, I Sarah. totally disagree. Your family is very happy on the outside, Brooke. They're not happy on the inside. That is none of your business. That's right. Monday. I'm hot. Did anybody look at me when I came in? Her mom and sister. We're hey. trying to figure out what's going on in your life. I'm trying to tell you, darling. That's not a term of endearment. Claim she's delusional. Two gentlemen were grabbing me out of the room. So you were abducted? And facing felonies. You were allegedly stealing a vehicle. Why, Stephanie? Why, right there? Oh, I'm just mimicking because I'm delusional. Then on Tuesday, molested as a child by her own father. You showed me videos. It wasn't a big deal. Showing her a pornographic video. Well, that's a big deal. That's Tuesday. Sarah's accusations have rocked my family to the core. We are some of the only people who have loved Sarah, and that's by her own admission. We gave Sarah a home, we supported her, and she turned around and betrayed us. This is well beyond my capacity to be able to influence her for the positive. I'm passing the buck to Dr. Phil on this one. Well, Sarah reported what she believed to be child abuse and neglect while accepting Brooke and Jason's offer for a safe place to sleep when she was homeless. But were her perceptions distorted and influenced by memories of abuse in her own life? Um, I think so. I would rather have called than ignored than no. to have completely ignored it. No. You appealed the courts when your children's rights were severed and you told me that DCS was the devil and that they so. destroyed families and that they didn't equip you with what you needed to get your kids back and then you invited them into my house you know what happened? and put my entire family, healthy, happy, functional family at risk. Your family. You stabbed us in the back, I Sarah. still disagree. Your family is very happy on the outside, Brooke. I agree with that. They're not happy on the inside. I, I need you to understand. There I were, absolutely understand it. There were two things I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. When you did what it was that you did, Do you ever tell my primary I... fear, my primary fear was not what was going to happen with CPS, whether or not they were going to remove our kids. I was so confident in the parents that we are. That was not it. My fear was that my kids would learn that by helping people, bad things happen, and that is not something that I want them to learn. That's right. And here's my second fear. My second one, Sarah. My second one is for you, because despite all of this, and you might not think it. I still have a heart for you and I care for you. And let me tell you, if you do not learn how, when people help you not to externalize your issues onto them, it's going to be so hard for you. And that is my concern. You need to learn from this experience and admit and understand that you got it wrong. You realize that there's you no need some humility of your perfect, heart, Sarah. Right? Like yours. Do you tell your wife that you, you're overwhelmed and that you're tired and that you can't take on anymore? I am so honest with my wife about everything because I am sometimes tired. But I am. Do you understand that that is none of your business? That's right. Seriously. You don't come in and start taking somebody's inventory about how they, what kind of commerce right. goes on between them. It, that, that's, it, that's so inappropriate. You've lost parental rights to your own children and you're going to tell them how to raise theirs. I'm not willing to apologize for doing it. The number one show in daytime is taping now. All we need is you. You're going to be in the Los Angeles area and want to watch a live taping of the Dr. Phil show? Call 323-461-PHIL or visit drphil.com. Tickets are free and I hope to see you soon. Brooke, Jason, and Sarah's church pastor, Mike, says that it's always a sensitive issue when it comes to helping and trusting strangers. Let's take a